welcome back my sweet friends to another monthly tbr video we're in august which is insane don't know when that happened i feel like july was such a blur but it does mean we get to talk about some new books so this month i tried to be quite particular when i was trying to choose books for my tbr tried to be quite picky i guess and also just try and choose a range of different genres when i was choosing my books because last month i only read fantasy and romance so I do have some fantasy and romance in this list, but I'm gonna try and branch out and read a little bit out of my comfort zone. And I've also only picked like eight books, eight or nine books to talk about because I always pick like 15 and I never read 15 books a month. So this will hopefully give me the chance to read all of these plus maybe a few others, but we won't get ahead of ourselves. We'll, we'll just try and stick with these to start with. But let's get straight into it. If you missed my wrap up, I posted a few days ago. I'll link it down below. Make sure you watch that. But last month I started the Throne of Glass series and I'm loving it so far. I read the first First three books last month so this month I want to read Air of Fire which I have actually already started and I'm already like almost halfway I think and this book is probably my favorite one so far there's just more characters more storylines the plot is thickening and I'm obsessed and I think I'll also try and read Queen of Shadows this month as well. I'm not sure if I'll get any further past this point, but this is the halfway mark. So we'll see how far we get in this series. I don't want to like binge them too quickly because I do want to make sure I'm reading other things as well. But these are the two that I have on my list from this series. And those are the only two fantasy books that I have in my TBR this month. May as well move on to the romance then. I picked out two. The first one is The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I've had this book sitting on my shelf for a little while and I'm not like a huge rom-com girl, but this one just looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think it might be a really good palette cleanser in between some heavier books. So I just saw this and I was like, yeah, I think it's your time. So we'll see if I get to this one. From what I've heard, it's about two people that work at a radio station. They start a radio show about relationship advice, pretending to be exes, is that right? But they're not actually exes, they're pretending to be exes so I'm thinking this is gonna be like a fake dating trope but like fake exes instead I don't know it looks fun and the other romance book that I picked out is forever interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid I think I'm finally gonna pick this up I have not ever been disappointed by Taylor Jenkins Reid and this is the last book from her backlist that I have to read except when Carrie Soto comes out, which I think is like at the end of this month, which I'm so excited about, but I want to finish her backlist before Carrie Soto comes out. But yeah, I have no idea what this one's about. It's probably gonna make me cry. I feel like every single book from Taylor Jenkins Reid makes me cry, but I also love it so much. So we'll see what happens. Actually, I just remembered I do have another fantasy book on my list, but I don't have the physical copy yet. If you guys don't know, at the end of July, These Twisted Bonds was released, which is the sequel to These Hollow Vows, which I read, I think in June and I loved it like absolutely loved it five star read for me so I ordered these twisted bonds because I couldn't find it in any of my local bookstores and I think it's actually arriving today so that will be on my TBR as well but I just don't have the physical copy in my hands as of yet but yeah I'm so excited to pick that one up I used to be the biggest thriller reader I used to read so many I think that's kind of like where I started when I started my reading journey I feel like that's how I got back into books was reading thrillers and I just haven't read one for a long time so on my list this month is The Girl Before by JP Delaney and I actually have started this one too and I'm like halfway through this one so basically we're reading from Jane's perspective who is living in this rental property that is just this beautiful very minimalist house but the only way she's allowed to live there is if she follows a bunch of rules that were set by the architect of the house it's kind of hard to explain but once you read it you really get it like he's a very particular exact sort of man and everything has to be done his way but yeah she finds out that there was another lady who used to rent this house who mysteriously died in the house and she's just like starting to get suspicious so I don't know I I Right now, I would recommend it, but there's probably a lot of trigger warnings in there. I feel like in any thriller, there's probably going to be trigger warnings, especially psychological thrillers. So definitely check those out if you think that could be an issue for you. But so far, so good. I just don't know if I'm a thriller girly anymore. I just, it messes with my head. <laughs> Maybe I need to read some that are not psychological. If you have any good thriller recommendations, please let me know because I would love to get more into them. But I don't know, I'm just getting the heebie-jeebies from this one, which is good. That's definitely like the 
the intent, but it's also just so creepy. Kind of along the same lines, but still different, is Bunny by Mona Award. This has, again, been on my shelf for quite a while now. And I don't know, I always just get a little bit scared to pick it up because I've seen people give this five stars. I've seen people give it one star. I've seen people love it. I've seen people hate it. And I just have no idea what I'm going to think. I actually looked up on Goodreads what genre this is classed at. And let me read you <laughs> what it says on Goodreads. Horror, fiction, contemporary, adult, fantasy, thriller, magical realism, literary fiction, and mystery thriller. So I think it's horror, but I think it also has not like fantasy elements, but a lot of people say it's just completely bizarre. I don't know, I'm really intrigued to read this and then really do a deep dive into reviews and people explaining what they think it all means and all that sort of stuff. But I just have no idea what I'm gonna think about this and I've never really read horror and I don't know if it's gonna be horror in the sense of like terrifying or just horror in the sense of like kind of creepy vibes. So I just am really, unsure what to think about this but I'm really excited to see what I think about it. This book I also had on my TBR last month and I just didn't get to it. It's a chunker so it is a bit intimidating but this is The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers. I've heard so many people recommend this especially recently in the past month I've heard so many people be like Rachel you need to read this book so I really want to read it. I actually just have no idea what it's about like literally no idea but I do know that I like Francine Rivers so I don't even know what else to say. I'm excited and I guess we'll just We'll see what I think about it. Then we have City of Girls by Elizabeth, what? Elizabeth Gilbert. And the reason why I initially bought this a few months ago is because I heard someone say, if you like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, you need to read this. So I ordered it and I haven't picked it up. But based on what I know, it is a historical fiction. So this was me trying to like get out of my comfort zone a little bit and pick things from different genres. This is my historical fiction pick. But I think it's about two best friends in New York in the 1940s which just intrigues me so much. Vivian and Celia are chasing trouble from one end of the city to the other, but there is risk in all this play. That's what makes it so fun and so dangerous. Sometimes the world may feel like it's ending, but for Vivian and Celia, life is just beginning. City of Girls is about daring to break conventions and follow your desires, a celebration of glamour, resilience, growing up, and the joys of female friendship. I feel like this could be something that I absolutely love, but I'm just, I don't know. I just haven't had that like draw to it up until this point. But if I could reread The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo for the first time, I would do that in a heartbeat. So if someone has said that this gives the same vibes, then of course I wanna read that. I love reading about famous people and rich people and just like the glamorous lifestyle, especially from like the 1940s where it's just that really like old school glamour. That old Hollywood vibe was something that I loved about Evelyn Hugo. So hopefully this gives me that same, that same feeling. I feel like like all of these I'm not like so excited about because they're all a little bit out of my comfort zone so I feel like I'm like oh I'm unsure I don't know what to think but I, that's kind of the point about this TBR I just want to step out of this comfort zone and hopefully find some new genres that I love because I just haven't been super excited about many things recently pretty much apart from fantasy I've been been loving fantasy recently and the last book that I have on my list that I don't have the physical copy of currently is Feel the Fire by Krista and Becca Ritchie I'll probably get it on my Kindle Feel the Fire is the eighth book in the Addicted Slash Calloway Sister series it is Connor and Rose's final book and I'm really excited but I'm just so sad that I'm coming to the end of that series after that I'll only have two books left which is just so sad but I love Connor and Rose so I'm excited to see what is next for them but I think those are all the books that I have on my list for this month. We'll see how many I get to. We'll see how many I enjoy. Some of these I could hate. I'm hoping I don't. My leg is asleep. Ow. Let me know what's on your TBR this month. I would love to know. And also let me know if there are any specific book videos you would like to see this month. I'm thinking I might do a 24 hour readathon. I'm thinking I could do showing you all of my books on my physical TBR. I also asked Liam if he would do a video with me where he picks my TBR or like comes book shopping with me. So that could be fun. But let me know what you guys want to see or what your favorite book videos are to watch. But I am losing my voice. I'm still a little bit sick. So please forgive me. <laughs> but I think that's also my sign to stop talking. <laughs> but I love you guys so much and I'm sure I'll see you with another book video very soon. Goodbye.